Hello, this is a drawing of a crate, and a crate and a person walking towards it. Um, it's Crate Phantom, which is a really good exploration ship. I, I, I use mine most of the time, actually. It's handy for nipping around the bubble, but also it's got enough internal compartments that you can put in... I, I think I've got an SRV bay, a couple of AFMUs, I think an Olympic controller, repair Olympic controller as well, I think. But yeah, it's it's really it's really versatile. It's lighter and it, it's not quite as effective in a combat situation. Like Crate Mark Two, you can get a, a ship fighter bay in there, but you don't get that on the Crate Phantom. It's a stripped down sort of version. But yeah, it's it's a fantastic ship. It's nippy. It's it looks good. I think I, I have uh, great fun memories of the the wireframe look of the crate. I've actually got a little wireframe crate rotating on my uh, cockpit. <laughs> We've got a little Thargoid and a little crate rotating. It's kind of multi-role in the way that the Cobra is for the smaller ships, but this is a medium-sized ship, so you can still use it at outposts and stuff, and it's, it's small enough to squeeze into awkward places on planets when you land, whereas, you know, your galumphing great big exploration anaconda, that's very difficult if you want to nip out to one of the distant Guardian sites and, and plonk it down there. You can't plonk it, not in the same way that you could with a crate or ideally a Diamondback. But a crate is more useful because it's got that cargo space that you, you struggle with in a diamond bag. So if you're doing a bit of collection for, say, a community goal or something, it's it's great for that. It's it's made by Falcon de Lacey, which is uh, all your original game ships, basically, pretty much are Falcon de Lacey ones. So your Cobra, Anaconda, Python, Psyde and Viper, they're all Falcon de Lacey too, which is, uh, which is good. You know, they're, they're not tied to any particular political leaning. They're just used by all commanders equally which is great i mean they they do seem to make really good multi-purpose ships if you look if you look at the python that's and the, and the cobra they're, they're really good multi-purpose ships and the condor i guess is, is also in a different league but it is also multi-purpose people do use them as combat ships as well as exploration ships or trade ships after the um, introduction of the crate in game it's just everyone bought one for exploring so because uh, i say to people uh, would you like me to draw a picture just send me a screenshot People would send me screenshots of their exploration ship uh, sunning itself on some distant planet. And all my pictures suddenly converted from like uh, asps in front of stuff to crates in front of stuff to commanders in front of crates in front of stuff, which is kind of funny. Yeah, and, and the, the commander bum is a, uh, a well-seasoned uh, compositional element now in most people's photos. I certainly got loads of pictures I've taken at the back of my commando. It's that kind of that third-person feeling of what we're going to see, what can we find on this place. And This place looks icy and cold and a bit unwelcoming, but it's got that beautiful deep blue atmosphere that looks like it's uh, probably nitrogen or something like that. It certainly looks, it looks that gorgeous deep bluish purple looks um it looks like some planets i've landed on or indeed live on anyway i um i, I best go thank you for watching